It is with regards to the impasse at the RG Car Medical Hospital. Junior doctors are all set to continue their strike after the second round of talks still remain inconclusive. Second round of talks took place between junior doctors and officials of the West Bengal government and they failed to break the doctor's strike over the RG car issue. Following the state's refusal to give written minutes of the meeting, the doctors alleged that they will continue with their strike. After the meeting, the doctors announced they'll continue with their agitation and cease work till the time the government issues written directives on the safety of doctors in state-run hospitals, as was agreed in the meeting. My colleague Ritik Mongal is now joining me on the story. Ritik, it's very, very unfortunate because we have seen how these doctors have been on a strike for close to 50 days now. And all that they have been asking, certain set of demands they have been putting across Mamta Banerjee, across the government. And it seems like the second round of talks also failed to break the ice. Well, uh, definitely. Another round of talk uh, between the government and the protesting doctor went inconclusive and... You know, no fruitful uh, outcome it had uh, yesterday. Even the meeting lasted for over six hours uh, at the state secretariat. Uh, the chief secretary of the state headed that uh, uh, meeting. But let me tell you what exactly junior doctors were wanting at this point in time. Remember, it's been a month uh, long protest and cease work that has been continuing uh, in uh, at the doorstep of Swastha Bhavan, that is precisely the health office of the state. Now, doctor wanted a specific development with regard to the safety and security of medical, uh, you know, uh, doctors or the nurses uh, being deployed at several all state-run hospitals across the state. Now, what we have given to understand the yesterday meeting was not fruitful and. Uh, you know, no, you know, the minutes were not signed by the two parties. Now, they have decided to continue this, this work. Remember, uh, time and again, the government tried to reach out to these people and they also requested time and again to uh, get back to the work. But the doctors are pretty much unsure at this point in time because they want foolproof security and they want, you know, a uh, 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 security measures being taken by the state authority at all state-run hospital. Most of the uh, demands right, were, uh, you know, accepted by the government, uh, including right. which includes uh, removal of several top cops and officials. But it seemingly right. it is not letting the anger die down among the protesting doctors. Back to you. But they please stay on with me. We've got some more breaking news coming in from the state of West Bengal. Boat carrying 13 people, including TMC Lok Sabha MP and Rajya Sabha MP, along with the district magistrate, overturned during an administrative visit of flood assessment in West Bengal. The unfortunate part is that no one was wearing a life jacket when the speedboat overturned. However, everyone on the speedboat was rescued by the villagers who were standing close by. A team led by TMC Emily. MP and Rajya Sabha MP along with the district magistrate and the security guards were on the boat. The incident is said to have occurred while they were on the way to make sure that they assess the damage that has been done because of the floods in the state of West Bengal. After being instructed by Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, the administrative team went on to inspect the flood affected regions via a speedboat. Visuals that you are seeing on your screens. My colleague Ritik is still with me on the story. Ritik, you know, we understand that this was a team which was led by TMC MLA and they were asked by the Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee to go on the spot and to see the kind of damage that has occurred because of the floods. Unfortunate incident around 13 people, including the you know, Birbhum District Magistrate Bidhan Roy, two MPs that are uh, Samirul Islam and Asit Mal and Rapur MLA. Uh, Bridget uh, Spenha, who was traveling in a boat, a speed boat, what we are given to understand during the inspection of a flood situation in Birbhum district. In, uh, it is one of the worst affected uh, uh, district, uh, uh, you know, uh, this time the, around uh, when flood uh, like situation arising in the state of West Bengal. And uh, they fell into a flo uh, you know, flooded water. Uh, and they both overturned. Uh, precisely, some local rescued them initially. Uh, it was learned that none of them, as you rightly pointed out, none of them were wearing, uh, you know, light jackets. Uh, and uh, it, the boat overturned. At least, uh, you know, 15 to 20 villagers they 
uh, went into flooded water and rescued them hurriedly. All of them are rescued, but Ralphie tell you that uh, it has triggered a, 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 a you know a panic among locals. Remember, Bhavta Banerjee herself were visiting some of the flood affected areas and district day after. Uh, you know, the flooded water started entry uh, in many parts of the Birbhum or uh, in the western part, particularly uh, in in, uh, in West Bengal. Uh, but in this particular un unfortunate incident, all of them have rescued. But that also raises question why, you know, due procedures and safety measures were not being taken when the, you know, administrative authorities or the heads of administration, including DM MPs were present. Right. They were traveling on a boat. Uh, so these are, these are questions uh, are yet to answer by the administrative administrative heads. Back to you.